Hello everyone, as we all know that the 8th semester is going to be starting on 13th of February. Before that, let me tell you something about the 8th semesters which you need to keep in mind before choosing your professional elective. So let's get started. If you want to just uh, get to know what is my elective, I will be choosing storage area network. But if you want to get to know what is the actual thing, how many electives are there and uh, what all is there in NoSQL, why I have chosen SAN, uh, you can watch the video till the end or you can exit now. So let's get started. Before starting, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And uh, this is the first uh, subject which you have is the Internet of Things. This is the compulsory subject. In this, we'll be having something about the IoT. You see, module 2 is very small here and module 3 is also small. So these two are the modules which will be more easier to score uh, nice marks upon. Then we have the professional electives. So there are totally four professional electives. In the four professional electives, we have the first one which is mobile computing. Okay. So I don't think so anyone will be taking this because we don't have any previous papers for this one as well. Uh, we don't have any uh, notes also for this one. Okay. So I don't think so this will be taken and it is a very big chapter. Okay. We have a very big subject. The uh, fourth one is the uh, multi-core architecture and programming. This also we don't have any previous question papers or anything and the syllabus is also very large. Okay. So these two are eliminated. The remaining two are no SQL and uh, Sand. most of the people will be uh, choosing this between these two okay so the storage area network as you can see the easier uh, modules are this one is the easier module and this one is the easier module three four and as well as fifth module is easier one okay only the first two modules are a bit uh, larger okay and this is a completely theory oriented subject you'll be getting a lot of question papers for also this one so i'll be showing you what all is present before that let me uh, tell you about the no sql in the no sql we have everything about what all we learned regarding the databases in the uh, dbms in the previous semester and uh, regarding the key value store which we stored in the big data all those things are present uh, this is the theory oriented subject but it has some uh, diagrams and the uh, uh, numerical type formulas also you will have to keep in mind that and uh, for this one we just have one previous question paper okay so let's have a look at the TIE's uh, uh, question paper uh, means the website in this we have both the NoSQL and SAN okay so for the NoSQL also we have all the super important questions and all the notes are available same goes for SAN also all the question and the uh, previous uh, question papers and the uh, module notes are also available okay but the question, but the change rises here. See, if you see about the NoSQL, we just have one previous question paper. Okay, this is the one question paper, August 2022. So this is the question paper here. As you can see, nothing is much harder here. But the only uh, thing is that there are some diagrams and the formulas you need to keep in mind. So this is one of the drawback of the NoSQL. Whereas if we see the SAN here, how many question papers are there? Have a look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six versus one question paper. In which do you think the more probability will be to choose the super important questions? You have the common sense. You can get to know what is the most probable option, right? And in storage area network, see how small the questions are. And if there are many question papers for this one, and you have a small small questions, the questions are easily predictable, right? So that's what uh, the SAN is, uh, the chosen subject. So let's have a look and uh, make sure you choose this subject and I'll be making videos upon that. So before, uh, and if you found this video helpful, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see, I'll see you in the next.